Um, you know, all credit to Northwest Florida for coming on the road and getting the victory. Um, you know, I'm you know I'm proud of my guys for for putting themselves in position to win the game. Um, I thought we lost this game in the first half, uh, just off of our defensive effort. You know, which is something that we're not used to doing, but it happened. You know, and they gave themselves a, a chance. And it's just sometimes in the, in the second half when it kept getting closer, and you know, we, we'd miss a couple of free throws or give up a tough, tough basket. Um, but it's college basketball; it happens. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of these guys. We'll watch film. We'll cut it up and uh, and get better from it, and uh, and get ready for Pensacola next Wednesday. Uh, Marcus Nodlack was in the lineup last time you guys played Northwest. Um, it looked like he brought some stability, um, you know, to their team. They seemed a little bit more calm, you know, because he's a primary ball handler. Uh, he's a good player, um, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, um, but, you know, they have good players on their team. That, you know, like they were preseason number one for a reason. Um, and, uh, you know, it just it came down to one possession and, you know, it, 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 just, didn't, it just didn't fall for us for the night. They persevered through some adversity, and I, I tell you why. Because I think I think I think the biggest lead tonight was, I think it was yeah, like 17. It was 23, 39, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Um, you know, at some point in the game, and they just stuck with it every time out. Um, you know, just stay together, just stay together, and just stay together. And you know, like I said, we you know we gave ourselves a chance to win the game, and 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 you know, all credit to them. They made some some clutch shots late, and uh, it just happens, you know. I say, what was the mentality coming out of the locker room in the second half, dealing with that deficit, trying to get back in the game? First half over. We just got to fight to get back in this game. We got to come out and get three stops in a row. The plan was to make make a jump. Or, you know, this is one of the first times where you're in those road game situations where you're coming from behind. Obviously, you, you, hit, the, you hit the brand at the buzzer. Um, but what, what do you, you learn about your guys and how you guys play as a team when you're facing that adversity that you were doing? They never thought the game was over. It was always, we good, we good. Even when we're not good, we saying we good just to keep that positive energy up, to know that we can get back in this game at any time. We did give ourselves a chance to win the game. Approaching the week break before you go to Pensacola, it's the Panhandle Conference. It's never really a break, but those those six days off you have before the next game, how important are those? Very important. It's uh, you know a, a time for us to kind of decompress and not let one loss determine how the rest of this is going to go. I, I'm not going to allow that. Um, but you know we got seven games to finish out this conference. We want to take one at a time. Um, you know, you know, I know I, I have a squad that I can go in feeling good that we can win every game. Um, I, I'm not saying we are, but I feel good that we can. So, you know, um, we'll, we'll, we'll watch film, cut this up, get better from it, and then uh, I'll prepare for Pensacola. You know, you give them a couple of days off before next, before next Wednesday and, uh, and get them right. Thanks, guys. Good. Good job.